recently I've been working on a project with, I'm leading a team of several photographers, some of us have been working for a long time, called the Columbia Pike Documentary Project, and now collaborating with a group of folklorists, as you know, from George Mason with Deb Shudica. Paula Endo and I had uh, worked together for years. She ran a program of teenagers at the Arlington Mill. Some of those young people who are no longer teenagers are still in the project, Mimi Ho and Dewey Trong, and uh, recently Alexandra La Cueva. Uh, we're a pretty diverse group. It wasn't until uh, we had a potluck that I realized I was the only non-Asian. I brought bagels, they brought egg rolls, you know, and sesame noodles. Um, my current, I've just been amused by and, and, and enriched by the diversity I've seen, particularly in the south part of the county. It's just amazing to me. I become sort of friends or acquaintances with a Mongolian rocket scientist. Where else would that happen outside of Mongolia? Or my current favorite diversity thing, I, I spent a lot of time in the Middle East. My next book will be on Jerusalem. And it's a community where the inter-community strife can be deadly. Here people get along. I mean, that's something that really I cherish about the community. I think we're doing it right. It's not an enclave. People are blended, and I really think that's good. But I was in a, a Turkish kebab place along the pike, and the guy asked me my background. And in the Middle East, I know being Jewish means something here. Nobody cares. It's like being Irish or Italian. It's just another part of the mix. But there it can be contentious. So I waited a second, and I told him the truth. My father's from Germany, escaped the, the Nazis. But with my coloring, I don't look German. And I kind of talked to the guy a little bit, and I'd heard he was from eastern Turkey. It turned out he's a Kurdish Jew. I didn't know there were any outside of Israel and, Tur and like Kurdistan. And that to me, the fact that he's here, and his employees are, you know, Asian and, you know, and Muslim and Latino, I mean, that's what's here. I just enjoyed that. Or st I stumbled into a woman that I was photographing and talking to her. I thought she was Latino. I started talking to her. I realized she was Moroccan from her name and up into Morocco. It was just sort of like there's a little enclave of those folks, too. And I, I just enjoy that piece of it. It's, uh, I, it, 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 it's fun. And, and I think it, it, it makes you feel like you're part of the whole world is here. You can, you can travel a couple of blocks and experience a lot. And they, some of these folks are my friends. So it's no longer an abstraction. It's not just like some formal, let's all get together and be nice. It's the real thing. You know, you know, what, you know what they eat. You know what they're worried about you know, when their car breaks down, that kind of stuff. Great. Well, Lloyd, thank you so much for being here today.